What's up, everybody? <sighs> Hope everybody is enjoying their day today. Um, today is January the 28th, <clears throat> 2017. <sighs> yeah. I'm at home, you know, just sitting and thinking about random things or whatever. So I said, let me record a video so I can get these thoughts out of my head and actually have like a video diary of, I guess, different things or whatever. So this is not a TTC video. It's not a product review video. This is like one of those real life videos where you have to face like, you know, real life issues and things like that. So I said, let me, you know, make a little video or whatever. So last night I was on Facebook. Yeah, I was on Facebook last night. So I came across uh, a post from a girl that I've known that I, you know, I grew up with or whatever. It was regarding her sister and just... I guess life issues or whatever that she was going through. So I got to thinking like, you know, a lot of people go through these life issues. These life issues can come in the form of mental illness, depression, uh, having suicidal thoughts, attempting suicide, everything. So I said, you know, let me just stop and think, you know, on my life and how I struggle daily with mental illness and, you know, depression, having suicidal thoughts is just, is just something that, that occurs or whatever. It's not something that you can just change overnight. It's something that I have been struggling with for, what is this, 2017? I will have to say about 16, maybe, you know what? It's, I, I would say a lifelong, a lifelong thing. It's an illness. It is something that you just can't get over overnight. It's something that millions, millions of people suffer from. So what, uh, is it, 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 uh, I don't know. It's like hard to like get my words out. It's something that needs to be discussed openly, you know, I guess in black families and black households. You do have those individuals who do suffer from mental illness. And we don't just openly come out and talk about it because it's not something that we prefer to talk about. It's something that gets a band-aid put on it most of the time. It's just something that just gets ignored. So yeah, I would have to say a lot of my depression and a lot of uh, my mental illness triggers come from, you know, like daily life. It can come in a form of rejection. You know, if some if I feel as though... I am being rejected. Of course, that's going to set off some triggers in my head. It's going to set off a chemical imbalance in my head. You know, do some days, will I say that I will need medication? Some days, yeah. Am I on medication? No, because I feel like I can just deal with it myself. I feel like once I feel those triggers coming on or if I'm in a situation where I feel... You know, like, some people may call it like a manic episode. I call it just a change in personality. When I feel myself having a change in personality where I feel like I am going to shut people out, you know, stay in my own lane, just not want to do anything, I try to do things that are going to be very upbeat, um... I guess things in general that's going to make me happy because nothing, you know, is going to take these thoughts and these feelings away. I feel now, like today, I feel myself 
in the middle of maybe a depression episode. I'm trying to, I don't know. It's, I don't know. It's kind of, it's hard to explain. It's, it's very hard to explain. So I don't know. I'm trying to pull myself out of this funk because I know how far my thoughts can go. And I know that some days I may say, forget it. Fuck it. I'm over it. I'm over a whole lot of life stuff, but I know that I do have a reason for being here. There's a reason why I'm living. There's a reason why I was put on this earth. There's just a reason to keep breathing every day. So every day is a struggle. Every day is a struggle. I can be driving down the street and, you know, just random thoughts will pop into my head. What if you weren't alive? What if... You know, what if, you know, you never existed? What if 16 years ago, the pills you took were actually successful? What would your family's life be like, you know, if you weren't here? Uh, Just overall, what would people think? At this point in my life, I don't I don't care anymore. I don't care anymore. I have a mental illness. I already know that. <clears throat> it's a diagnosed mental illness. So, you know, it is what it is at this point. You just have to live with it daily. You have to try to figure out different coping skills, different techniques, different lifestyle changes that will not cause you to have, you know, episodes where you feel yourself spiraling down or episodes where you feel like you're headed into a manic episode or whatever. So I will, I can honestly say I am a lot better, um, from what I was years ago. I'm a whole lot better. I don't have a lot of situations that make me feel like, you know, I don't want to live anymore or that just caused me to go into major depression or whatever. But it is what it is. I think the whole point of this video is, you know, you never fully know what someone is going through until you actually go through it, until you are actually living with your illness every day. It's something that I do not discuss. I don't discuss it with people. I do not discuss it with my friends. I do not discuss it with my family. I do not discuss it, you know, with my spouse. I just don't discuss it at all because I feel like, I feel like it's a personal issue. Like, I don't know. People will definitely treat you differently if they know that you have a mental illness. They will treat you differently if they know that, oh, this chick tried to kill herself once before, they will treat you differently. They will treat you like you are sick. They will treat you like they have to always walk on eggshells around you. That's not how things are. You don't have to walk on eggshells around me. You can, you alone, nobody is going to stop me from feeling this way. You have to pull yourself out of this funk just to be able to see your light at the end of the tunnel. I guess that's what it is. I'm trying to find my identity and find my light at the end of the tunnel. So, hey, it's a real thing. It happens. Many people walk around daily with depression, with suicidal thoughts. Do we attempt it? Mm, depends on your mood. But personally for me, no, I haven't done that in lot of years or whatever so but it is what it is I think my whole point is saying listen you never know what someone is going through unless they actually tell you so just don't I don't know I don't know it's kind of hard to put into words I don't know it's something that people just go through daily so you never know what people are going through so be kind to people don't 
I don't know, don't make them feel like as though they are less important because those certain triggers will be those triggers that can possibly put them over the edge. It can possibly cause them to just throw everything away, throw their life away. Just, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Mental illness is real. It is real. And it's something that, you know, people go through. I think everybody has their form of mental illness that they have. It just depends on how severe their chemical imbalance is. So, yeah. Anywho, I am glad that my friend's uh, sister is doing I won't say well, but she is a lot better. Maybe she's in a different headspace. I don't know. I'm in a different headspace. I can tell you that for sure. So just keep praying for just keep praying for people. Just keep praying for your friends. Pray for your family. Because you never know what they may be experiencing. You never know where uh their mindset is. Currently, my mindset is in it's in a good place. It's in a good place right now. Like I'm starting to see a light at the end of my tunnel. I'm starting to develop different relationships with people that that are positive, that will benefit me and my mental state. So, you know, yeah. <laughs>